I win wars, not battles. I'm gonna say that again. I win wars, not battles. I've worked at a job. A man called me the N-word, spit in my face. Yep. Yep. And I turned the other cheek and I invited him to my home. And I had my wife cook for him. And it bought me two weeks of peace. And I prayed to God for that to be taken away. And it never did. But one year later, he got fired. And I asked God, I said, why didn't you take him away? Then I felt the response. If you can't handle a 10 foot Goliath, the next one's 20. Every job there's gonna be him. What I did was make you stronger. So don't pray for things to always go away. Pray for more skills. Cause that's what it's about. And through that time, I learned patience. Through that time, I got to see what actually counts. And through, through the hate, and when I tell you hate, I'm not talking about like just the cold shoulder. I'm talking about I come outside and my car is keyed and I can't prove who did it. I'm talking about my tire being flat and I can't prove who did it. But guess what? Every month I paid the rent. See, I win wars, not battles. We were talking about the NFL the other day. Remember what we said, Brian? Winning a game is one thing, but it's all about what? Super Bowl. Super Bowl. So you can have a, a perfect, perfect, all the stats, but without the ring, with the, it don't mean nothing. It's nothing. So what matters is me beating that eviction, me having good credit because of that, me making my car payment, that's winning the war. But let's take it back to the streets. There's not one man or woman in here that would let somebody disrespect them. We're all going to say, hey, we stand, our, we stand our ground when somebody's getting too crazy with us, right or wrong. Okay, but watch this. You run from a dog. There'll be five guys and you'll be like, hey, I'm going to stand my ground. But let a Rottweiler come up. German blockhead looking at you. All of a sudden, everything changed now. You, you trying to get on top of a car or running up a tree. You see, you'll fight the five guys and each man is 200 pounds average. A dog is about 60. But why you run from the dog and not the people? I... Nope, people gonna do way more damage than a dog. I'll tell you why. Because when a dog is looking at you, this ain't a fight. I kill you or you gonna kill me. We ain't fighting, you see. In the streets, it's a fight. In our mind, we've seen too many movies. I'm gonna get jumped, they're gonna let me on the ground, somebody gonna help me up, I may maybe be in the hospital, but I'm gonna survive this. When you see a dog, his mindset is, I am going to kill you, and you are not on that level, so you run. That is why. A thousand pounds of flesh, you say, I'm gonna do this. But 60 pounds of flesh, looking at you, saying, lunchtime, you run. And when you own your own business, it's gonna be the same thing. There's always competition. It's okay. It's okay, because no matter how big these speakers get, I know my motives, I know my purpose. Some of them are like, oh, I can sell you a program, I could do X, Y, and Z, I'm famous, I got a huge following. But as soon as I hit that stage, I'm like, bro, you don't understand. I do this for free. I don't need a check. Put me on the stage, lights, showtime, watch what happens. Because this is my calling. So when I get on that stage and they see me, anybody seen 8 Mile? Remember when Eminem was done? Threw him the mic, he said, tell the people something. Remember that look? That they don't know about me. He said, go ahead. You could take the mic home with you. <laughs> right? But that look that M had, it goes back to Rocky. The eye of the tiger. Let me tell you something. Out of all the Rocky movies, my favorite is the one with Mr. T. 
because he tasted that championship belt. He got a taste of it and got relaxed, got comfortable. And Mickey told him, he said, you can't fight this guy. He said, what do you mean I can't fight him? He goes, no, 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 no. This guy will kill you in three rounds. He's hungry. You haven't been that hungry since you won that belt. The hunger. So some people do this, do this for the money. I'm hungry because this is what I am. I don't fight for clout. I don't fight for the money. If you love what you do and you have a passion and you've got that dog mentality of, whoo, this is mine. This is mine. I don't care who you are, what you got, but this belongs to me. And when I get on that stage <laughs> and I turn this on, it's go time. It's go time. Like Maximus from Gladiator, he takes the dirt and goes like this. And that switch comes on. That's what I need you to do for your business. Your family will never understand why you're doing what you're doing. Your friends, but your competition and your haters will. So they are going to be the biggest supporter because the more threatened they are by you, they're confirming that they see you're growing. Showtime, let's go. Warriors! When opposition comes, when it comes to our dreams and our goals, and when we fight,